like that. If you strafe into a wall while you're running forward, uh, it increases your speed, so that's why I do that. Uh, I know, I did, I did that on purpose. Can you see a tip? Can you refresh that code? Which ones refresh? Uh, F5. I'm not a Windows guy. Do I have to hit? Oh, hit pause and play on the left. Should come back up. And this is just another uh, NPC door glitch, which saves like uh, quite a bit of time actually. Is it still not up? <laughs> um, is it up on anybody's computer? I'm not seeing it. Yes. It's up. Okay. It, how is, is it smooth at all? Or is it pretty choppy? Well, what is that? Is it smooth? Is it like constable? <laughs> all right, but it's not like freezing up for like a second at a time. Okay, all right, well, that's the best I can do. And another NPC door. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that overlapping trick that you saw. Um, what happens is. In elevators and everything, the elevator is not actually moving. It just spawns you and then makes noise and blah blah blah. Um, so wherever you are, your coordinates. If anywhere in the map it overlaps, you'll just spawn in that area. So. And this is basically going to show you that uh, you can fall from any height, and if you hit a ladder. You do, just stop and don't die. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. like that, and it's kind of funny. It's weird seeing all my problems in the ammo counters. Yeah, I know, huh? That's a demo bug. Oh. Yeah, so when you record demos and play them back, like everything gets all messed up. Are they still haven't fixed it? Nope, they just don't bother. It's been 14 doing. years, come on. But yeah, but you're busy adding ads. We're waiting for the patch. To, uh, to too. I missed that, John. They are. I can't argue with that. It's, yes. it's now just a hat. Hat Fortress 2? Hat Fortress 2. If you'd like to win this hat, <laughs> how it's a much it... better hat because you can actually wear it. <laughs> yes. Tell them what they have to do. Uh, you have to donate at least ten dollars in a single shot donation during this run. Uh, there's a bit of leeway before and after, but uh, yeah, basically. Why not? Why not? I died. <laughs> Uh, this is a jump that skips Give us money and you get a huge hat. portion of the <laughs> this chapter. Um, yeah, sometimes I nail it, sometimes I just miss it. Nice. Cool. So. We're also drawing for the Valve Complete Collection during this run, that's also $10, so, yeah. So they didn't anticipate traveling at buddy hop speeds. Nah. <laughs> That's where I get health from this guy. If you have a really low health, they'll give you a little bit, then you can kill them. <laughs> he, just, he just had a syringe, like... Yeah. I would not let the government inject you with a syringe. So do you have, like, any remorse for the NPCs in this game? Oh, no, not at all. Um, I'm actually an old uh, community member of an old, old Half-Life thing. Yeah. That If anybody remembers it, let me know, because it's hard to find anybody. But there's the Scientist Killing Club, and uh, that was like on Planet Half-Life years ago, and uh, that was like before like Counter-Strike and all that crap, and before everyone made custom like mods, so you'd just kind of like load up single player and just kill scientists and make demos and stuff. Was that a secret? Uh, no. Oh yeah, that's a glitch to use stuff through walls. So that health uh, object was um, on the other side of that wall. But when the walls are thin, you could uh, use them. So that's also how I opened this door right here when I landed, because I hit that switch. That seems to be common in first-person shooters. Yeah, if, even modern ones still have that. The, the wall thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys, um, they go by sound. So you just have to kind of distract them. That's probably my uh, number one run killer. Is they when they hit you, you just die. 
it's very rare to get hit and survive, and if you do survive, it's like, uh, you have 3 HP or something. Why did you test the Um, those boxes are gonna blow up and have health, and, uh, so it's just on my way back, if I need help, I can grab them. So... Any yeah, in the water too. It's kind of like the same thing as the ladder. Is there a purpose of the flash like turning out of it? Oh, let's just have it from playing this damn game too much. So it's just kind of like, what I'll do. <laughs> Sorry. I spray the ground like that a lot too, which is pointless. But... but yeah, Oasis wrote up like a huge um, text file that explains a lot of the tricks. Um, so if you ask an IRC, he'll link you to it. Yeah, he's posting it. So, you guys can read that. This is another, just use it through the wall. Uh, just got her really bad. Um, basically, uh, that area, uh, I just lost some time. Uh, that area, you're supposed to be behind the glass and launch the rocket and blah blah blah. Um, and there's actually like a hurt trigger that like burns you if you get close to the glass, but they never anticipated you to be inside of here. So you just don't get hurt. You can just hang out. So you just hang out on like ladders and stuff so they can't hit you and then like that. But you can just like jump in the fire, it doesn't matter. Uh, does this game like your land saves or other checkpoints? Uh, there's auto saves. Um, I'm making quick saves just to, so if I mess up I don't lose as much time just showing people. So. Because it's very easy to die. Go for it, man. Um, Shit. I'll just call myself to save time. <laughs> hey, um. <laughs> that was last night. Yeah, last night, yeah. I was. <laughs> uh, quick. I'm going to read off a couple of donations. Uh, Teresa Sloan, uh, love all, she donated $10, love all the PC speedruns, and said about Half-Life. It's worked uh, Meat Boy levels. $20 from David Kaskerzik. Thank you for adding pronunciation. Uh, really excited for this Half-Life run this year. He's uh, a great run, also for the sports man. $10 from... Say Carlos Rosado, no comment yet. Ten dollars from Didn't pick it up. Timo Bauer, finally half light, want to see more head crab actions. Ten uh, bucks for TV esports. Just uh, 1.6k to go to be pot smart. Um the trip mines when you place them in an object, uh, you can jump on them. So Hey, just like day sex. <laughs> uh, and you can continue now, sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. Um a hundred dollars from Christopher Earhart. Lagging. This is radon. Or rad Oh, yeah, he's a Half-Life runner, yeah. yeah. Go Drewby, show him how it's done. Yeah, he's cool. Alright, thank you very much. Um, $20 from Tobias Wall Horgan. Uh, another donation, put this towards naming Sid in F7 Everett. Uh, keep on going, you help me stay up watching for Sweden... No, help me stay up for watching Sweden win the Junior World Cup hockey last night. Go Sweden. Lots of Swedes yeah. apparently like speed running. Uh, $20 from Kenneth Hillman. Uh, no comment yet. Um, Ten dollars from Sam Kosher. I love what you guys are doing. I'll uh, ten for Super Meat Boy extra levels. Okay, that's it's getting up there now. I think we're about halfway. I'm listening to the stream while at work, but I can't just pass up a chance for the head crab hat. Good luck, Ruby. Uh, kick he'll hit Ruby'll fans ass. I don't know. Sorry, I don't play much. There, there we go. I love how they smoke these cigarettes. Fifty dollars from Dominic Cassette. Uh, thanks for this marathon. Means a lot to me. I can pass away two years uh, because of cancer. There's no way for not to donate to this. I would also like this to add this to Super Meat Boy levels. Thank you very much. 
so right there, um, I didn't throw a grenade up there to kill them. It's actually a trick to, uh, the NPCs go into like a panic mode, so when you throw a grenade, they run away. So it's kind of like, you just throw it and it makes them kind of turn around and not shoot you. And this is another, use the thing through the wall. Cool. Uh, $10 from Curtis Adams. Uh, $10 from Theodore Furgai. Sounds French. I'm not sure. Probably Oops. just did that. Uh, $5 from Max Schaffner. Good luck with Half Life. Greetings from Light. Lichtenstein? Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. See, like that. They just run past you. So. Kugere. Sorry. Yeah, pretty bad with pronunciations, too. Uh, $10 from Jennifer Hausfart. Uh, $10 from Alan Ruski. Keep up the awesome... You're not the awesome guy, also named Tifa Esports. So that's where you can throw grenades through small objects like that, and I basically use it to blow up like the barrier. Save time, just to let you know. <laughs> and that bit through the lightning was 50 50. What's up? That lightning, that you, the electricity that you hop through. Oh, I've never even gotten damaged by that before. Really? I don't even know if it does anything. <laughs> I, I think it does, like, if you have the cart and everything and you go slow, but, like, jumping through it, I've never gotten damaged before. Well, I'd like to say one of the first videos I ever saw was, I think, half of the 51 minutes. Oh, uh, I think that was a Radon, um, who commented. I that believe was, so. That was the first one I ever saw for Oops. some reason. So what's with the color? Oh, that's just a, uh, there's green light out here. Oh, I see. Yeah, so. <laughs> the games are awesome. So I just, um, oops, those will instantly kill you. Um, I just launched the rocket through the wall, which just uh, saves time, and I'm coming in here just for extra help. And I'm lost, losing my cool. What was that for? Why did the screen go? Um, it's because the, uh, the rocket launched off. Oh, okay. So it just kind of like smokes the screen. And you have to wait for the script to end, or else when you go to the next map, these doors don't open. So you have to just wait for everything. It's like 35 seconds. Basically, I just used the barnacle to lift me up, and I'm close enough to an edge that I can uh, kill him and then drop off onto the ledge. Is that what you're supposed to do? No, not at all. <laughs> it's just uh, faster. Yeah, majority of this you're not supposed to do like that, also. Yeah, you're so. not supposed to ever catch up with the G man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a, a grenade trick to scare the Vortigaunt, and he runs next to the door and opens, so that saves time. Because originally you have to kill everyone in there, and the scientist will open the door. Not 
This is like just to make all the there's assassins in the area, so it just scares them, makes them run away, so they don't shoot me. And they don't I thought I'd never have to be that accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where you get captured. I see it. $10 from Jennifer Housewart. Um Never played Half-Life myself, but a chance to win the Valve Complete Collection for $10. If you can resist that, I'll keep going all through the community, and I hope to contribute to run one of these days. Well, please do. There's absolutely nothing stopping it. No, other than the lot of work. And determination and uh, small rates out. Uh, $35 from James, James Greer. Uh, keep up the awesome work, everyone. You are all the real men or women. Also, I'd like to donate $3 for the Super Meat Boy levels and $5 for Mario World. Ten dollars from Colin Bover, no comment. Ten dollars from Benjamin Dangler. Half Life was actually the first game since the run up, not the half hour one. Yeah. Oh, I see you. We just missed the H on the hour. I uh, count this towards all Super Meat Boy levels as well. Ooh. What is the deal with those sprays anyway? The spray the Lambda symbol. The spray the Lambda symbol. Oh, uh, it's like. I think for uh, deathmatch and stuff, just to kind of like, oh, I owned you, and then you just like have your spray down. Yeah, I thought, okay. Well, it, because you can choose different logos. Being, so. being the ignorant soul that I am, I'm just going to give it to you. Why on earth did you choose the Prevent Cancer Foundation? No, like oh, oh okay. I could have made a custom one, well, no, but then SDA would have, you know, said I modified files. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those rules, man. Shit. Uh, this is a trick with uh, push triggers that basically, um, Increase your speed like that yeah. if you duck through them. I think like that was found by computers. It. It. Yeah, if like if you push trigger to it, you'll die. Mm -hmm. It's really screwy. Like sometimes I'll go through it yet, right? and nothing will happen. No, they haven't. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the Yeah, it was too low. Yeah, there's a way to go around it the other way um, that Oasis found, um, where you use a damage boost. <laughs> you use a damage boost, and uh, but it's just not worth it. Like especially right now because I'm already low. This thing sucked in the first portal too. <laughs> you said doing Half Life, my first computer could only run it in tiny software, run it in software in tiny windows. It's a good hat, I have to say. In fact, yeah, I see a lot of $10 donations, but I'm pretty sure they're all in for the hat and for the health collection. Is that specific to Lamar, or is it just a yeah. generic thing for him? No. Like, we need Merck to make a Lamar hat. <laughs> but then it'll be DB, so that's no fun. Yeah, yeah no, this one hurts. <laughs> yeah. I have $10 from Timothy Freeman. No good name. to Gordon Freeman. <laughs> nice. For Morgan. Um, Ten dollars from Liam Flathers. Uh, he just wanted to ask how the runner how he feels about the recent Half Life Three, Half Life Two, Episode Three, no new rumors up. plus the Sword Super Meat Boy levels. Oh, uh, the rumors. Um, I'm pretty excited about them, but I mean, I haven't seen anything. So what rumors? Yeah, well, that it's getting released. Yeah. Finally. Uh, 
like, uh, and there's supposedly, like, uh, there's going to be info at E3 and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I would be really excited, but since Valve kind of stiffed me on um, giving me prizes to give out right now, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything nice. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> take that, Matt Campbell. <laughs> uh, $30 from Jason Buck. No comment. Uh, $10 from... John, or possibly Jan, uh, I, I, oh geez, I'm sorry. You know what I'm talking It sounds huge. It's you like it would be possible to do the, uh, the half second power up in the script. Wait, what? The half second, the half second log power up. Or is it on rail? Whichever one, around that time. Uh, which, which trick? I think it's, it's either, it's one of either power up, two button high skills, or on rail, which could be done in something like half a second. Did he wait past that? Um, the no, one where in general, not, not the one where you uh, the one where you uh, use the trip mines to stack. No, no, there was there was one specific one, the one that was done in the recent the recent scripted. Uh, uh, I think in, I think it was interloper that was done that fast. In well, Zen. Maybe it was the second. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, but no, I don't think yeah, so. I know that we've got hostiles. Sure. No, we can probably last four. I'm guessing Jenny is then going to wait for the sense of Uh, oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that gun is basically the only reason I go up there, because I'm going to use it throughout the game. If I didn't need the gun, uh, I wouldn't even, like, be in this area. I have played I have played half like half like half like Sometimes the NPCs can be just a pain. So you people can play them actually. But we should be pretty Yeah, you're gonna start seeing this gun basically lets you do gauze boosting, which is what it's called, and you'll see those. We're pretty much on the stage. Yeah, I'm out of bounds. Uh, <laughs> I'm basically, you'll see me kill myself a lot just to, just to save time. Like, I don't necessarily have to some of these times, but it's just faster. So. Oh, yeah. That was first time ladder. That was really good. And you have to land on the ladder. Yeah, yeah, you have to land on the ladder. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's like some certain slopes. The last slopes. time I saw you do this on stream, it took you about two, three minutes to reduce. Yeah, I'm alive in the first place. Yeah, sometimes I get, uh... I just suck at it. And this is a slope that I found that I just like to do. Um, it's faster to take other routes, but I just think it's nice. goofy. So, I do it in my route. And basically, uh, yeah, I used a thing through the wall right there that you can't really tell. So. I keep forgetting that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to see all the bugs I missed on YouTube. I know that we're in these 2H13 and something like that. Wow, it's a tough chance. Yeah. And we blindfolded punch-outs. Neither of which I've seen yet. Maybe next time I sleep on one side. Yeah, that part I die a lot, just because it's easy to fall. Um, basically, you run along the slope. Uh, sometimes when the maps get compiled on angles like that, they uh, they make like a small ledge you can walk on. There were there were like five other donations here. Yeah, because I marked them this time because I read them. You did read them. Okay, that's always good. They heard enough of Major Resume before. I think they could survive another couple of seconds. All right, we've got a ten dollar donation from Alice Fitzgerald. No comments as of yet. Forty dollars from Lori Sokol. Sokol, awesome speed runs. Super excited for the Mirror's Edge race. Put all the money towards Super Meat Boy extra levels. 
Got ten dollars from Martin Juvonen or Juvonen. Little Droogie Foo Foo hopping through Black Mesa, scooping up the med packs and crab hat on the head. I love <laughs> seeing Half Life runs and hope you don't screw up too much. And all your hat are belong oh, to me. Yeah. GG. I'm just going up a little bit. Whatever. <laughs> That's a lot of speedrunning guys. Yeah. <laughs> $10 from Jeffrey Kurtenbach. Where's episode 3, Gaben? Yeah, seriously. Of anything. Of anything. Of anything. Eight ninety five from Alexander Herskovich. No comments as of yet. So this is um, getting close to the uh, HP, the health door glitch, basically, which is um, what defines Half Life speedrunning now. <laughs> um, there's a bug in the map, and the uh, the person who made it made the damage if you block the door give you negative one health or negative one damage, so it basically heals you. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a uh, one one per frame. Uh, so right now I'm at 100 FPS. So. And you can go over. You can just get God's health. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'll go to like 3,000 HP and basically just be able to do a bunch of boosts from now on. Get to hold that while you want to unplug it from the power strip. It's kind of good if it hurts me because I have a lot of pub right now. So. That kid looks like he belongs at Duke Nukem. I need that We have a twenty dollar donation from Max Yolitello, who says, "Droogie, where are you at? I'm already at the Citadel, bro." <laughs> That's the way it says. Uh, he's the guy that I race Half Life Two with. So. He's the guy that beats me at Half Life Two. Um, yeah, so since I have so much HEV right there, um, there we go. Yeah, so right now my health is just going to keep climbing. Yeah, so I'll let this go for like probably 10, 10 loops just so I can do a bunch of crazy stuff later on and not mess up. So. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's only two doors in the game. Like this one and another one. So, so you're gaining like Gaining health, yeah. So he's got like thousands of yeah, okay. health for his yeah. yeah. There's several thousand yeah. HP. Well, so now it's I like can. Like moving around because he's only like yeah. display three thousand. He doesn't actually okay. have fifty health. Um, yeah, it's like now. Yeah, so you'll see it like cut down as I take damage, the and then right when it gets to zero, we'll just go to it is like back one up. Frame what yeah. HP per frame? Yeah, per frame. And this into the yeah. SUV. So you'll see the other runs, they'll put their FPS at like a thousand, and they'll, they'll be sitting at the door for like two, three seconds, and then leave. So a question about fall damage. There is no point where it's a hits to kill the person, do you need to fall, is there? Oh, uh, wait, what? Is fall damage entirely determined by, by uh, HP value before you go, like, distance where it's a hits to kill the person, is Yeah, there, I mean, there's just... Uh, I'm not sure how it works, but you're able to instantly die if you're too high. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was wondering if there was, if there was a fall of the game where you could die with thousands of HP, but apparently there is this. Um, uh, basically what you saw me do with the Hornet gun is that's what Oasis and I call the physics manipulator. Because any moving objects, if you hit them with Hornets, they'll stop. And so the roof was falling in, and I just shot it with some Hornets and kept running. And you'll also see uh, people use it to close doors and open doors uh, faster. So right here, if I get it. Yeah, right there, the door open and shut. So, because basically the way that that works is uh, when the door opens, then it waits for it to shut, and then that's when the level change happens. So you just instantly open it and instantly shut it, and you're good to go. Not intended behavior, I'm guessing. No. Now you're on the alien invade part of it. Yeah. So you'll see people use the Hornet like right here, but I always mess it up, so I just don't bother. So he did it to me. 
Yeah, okay. You die. There we go. Jerk. He's wasting all your thousands of HP. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, we are at 5,500 viewers again. Nice. Like in that. It starts the day. Well, it, it, the, uh, after the day, actually. Oh, <laughs> So, I assume that if you did not have that super bad health, you would die from shooting. Yeah, I would die, uh, yeah. Spoiler alert, I'll put that flip in a little longer. Yeah. But I'm awesome. I have so a lot what of health. What did I just do? Uh, one advantage of having Morgan Freeman as a player is just a great guy. It's an excellent narration. I'm gonna try something. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Alright, well, I'll read a few more donations. I apologize if I repeat any of these. We had a little snafu with some of them being erased and then added back, so I might have to repeat one or two. But we got $10 from Theodore. For gra for gra? Hi, I'm Troyer150. I'm a French tester on internet. Good courage, good initiative. I'll put the URL for the donation on my website. Uh, I don't know if someone wants to double check that. Make sure it's a legitimate site. Um, I'll come back to that. Okay, $10 from Samuel Smith. Thank you all for doing this. Really entertaining. $30 from Jason Buck, putting this towards Super Meat Boy levels. Keep up the good work, guys. $10 from Sten Larson, Super Meat Boy extra levels. We should be pretty high on that. Uh, yeah, no. we just checked out. We got $10 from Marshall Banana, no comment yet. $25 from Brian Zimmerman. One here. Where's the other one? Ten dollars from Nick Stolk. Glad to see more awesome PC games being ran. And who can resist the cute head crab hat? Also, count this towards the Super Meat Boy extra levels. And then we have five dollars from Sean Gabriel. Awesome Half Life and Quick Runs, guys. Can someone ask Cody how impressed he is right now as a Halo player? This, I mean, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'm damn well impressed. Okay. I will never. I'm never. Gonna Cody's about to be up for about uh, three and a half hours, it looks like. 250. Well, you're doing Mirror's Edge also. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Halo Reach. Oh, yeah. Oh, Reach ain't going to take me that long. I was going to say, I'm very much looking forward to Halo Reach. Oh, yeah, sorry, four and a half hours. Like, four, not three and a half hours. Edge. Didn't you run a uh, Metal Gear Solid? Uh, yeah, I'm time. just two, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shit, I messed up. That's Cody. not good. Shouldn't have looked back. <laughs> What's screen you want? Would you, um, would you have to come whatever. Would you say? Use oh, the mods if you can. Well, they're going to oh, erase. Uh, I, I, just, right now, I yeah. could, but I just go to console and I type it. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I could. I just don't bother. I used to have it like that, but I just... I got to the point where I stopped caring. Yeah, this this game is definitely much much more fast paced than any of the Halos, so the tricks just can fly by like that. So this Did is the trick where I use the NPC to open the door, and then I scare him with the grenades, and then he runs into that door. Oh wow! Nice. So that skips like I don't know. This guy talks for forever. It skips a while. Yeah, I keep trying to play through this game, and I think I keep getting stuck like right as the Marines show up. Oh, we've got hostiles? Yeah. So you're almost, uh... I'm almost done. To Zen. Yeah. This is a... There's a basically a kill trigger in there, but since the Hornets are counted as an object, it gets rid of the kill trigger, and then you can teleport. Nice. But do you still get the long jump module, though? No, I don't. Oh. Yeah, so I just had to play through the rest of the game without a long jump module. And I can't completely mess that jump up. One run, one pun per run. Are you supposed to require the long jump module at this point? Um, it's like used for people who can't bunny hop, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, no, the, the, all the platforms and stuff are so far apart yeah, this level. Yeah, I You're mean, supposed to use it this to get level, this place. yeah, but I use launch and I have a lot of health. <laughs> 
if you're playing through normally, you'll get it. You just crouch before you jump and it launches you forward. Right. Yeah, so I knew what it was. I just wasn't sure if you had to have it. Yeah. So this is Gonark. Um, he's basically the monster that uh, I forget who the creator was, but they were told that uh, you know sex scares children. So this is just a giant sex. Nice. Yeah. I think the jokes kind of make themselves in this one. Yeah. And he can't hurt you by shooting white liquid. Interesting. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. No way. Now here's the question: At the end, are you going to accept the offer or are you going to reject it? <laughs> also, the the way this boss works, if anybody's wondering, uh, there's three set paths, and you have to do I think 300 damage per path. So one, two, three, and then he'll run through here, and then just the same thing. Uh, as he's running through, there's no point in hitting him because he just has unlimited health. So you just follow him until until the next path. Okay. So. Like he'll go like right there and here and then there. Uh, just out of curiosity, would the, in for practice sessions, would there be a value that you can put for total like B um, just to determine how much you have left for an HP door? Like when you're practicing, just so you have some idea of how much you can do it? Um, I got to the point where I was just watching loops, so I'd be like, okay, I did six loops, and I ran out of health and done in my run room, you know? Uh, yeah. I find it hard to keep track of that mental math when I'm going around the world and being a drinking game, that's all the power to it. It's gotten to the point where I stopped keeping track of it. Yeah, I just use that to boost. And then this part, you can just skip the rest of the battle, because what happens is... The boss blows up when he dies, and but you can just blow up the ground yourself. Nice. <laughs> That's a lot of boom. This is the I think the map that you were talking about that gets finished in half a second. <laughs> but, yeah. oh, okay, then I don't know. Yeah. It is somewhere around that. It's not with my hostiles. Oh. I think it's power up. I think. Oh, is it with the water and he's flying through the push trigger? Yeah, I think it's oh, yeah, that's for power up to auto rail. It takes about half a second. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's uh, using a trigger delay. It's a trick that uh, Quadrazid found, who, like I said earlier, he's probably the best half life runner in my opinion. He just has like good movement and everything. And um, you can go to his YouTube and see a bunch of cool videos. Yeah, so he was the one who did the. Uh, Single yeah, single segment in like 31 minutes. That was his? Yeah. Nice. With, without scripts? With scripts. Oh, with scripts. Okay, still. All with scripts, yeah. So but it's still like, uh, I mean... The amount of tricks that you're doing. Uh, yeah, I know, I know a lot of people don't like scripts. Um, I mean, I, I'm kind of mixed on them, but a single segment run in 31 minutes is... Yeah, that's... And that's Awesome. I mean, considering that Even the, with scripts, I don't care. Like that's just awesome. Considering that the, the scripted run that Spider Walk did is about twenty nine minutes before time Yeah. I mean that is still extremely impressive. How many segments was that? That was like a hundred and eighty seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it got down it got to over half an hour just on segment time penalties alone. Really quick, we had a ten dollar donation from Ben Barrett who says uh, voting for showing the bad end of Half Life. The bad and end? Extra levels of Super Meat Boy. Good work so far. Keep it up and uh, get me that now. I messed up. Uh, what is the bad end? Uh, the bad end. Where you like, reject the offer. Rejecting? Yeah, okay, so I die? Okay. I mean. I still fucked it up? Oh my god. Sorry, people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> More Half Life Madness. What's the time at? Uh, 48 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. It's really close to the There we go. Does it only work if you come in from the top? You can go to the bottom, but it's I missed it. That would be pretty impressive. Oh, let's go straight to Nihilus here. Yeah, this is Nihilus. This is the end, and I messed that up. The point where Gordon crosses the wall of Memorize and it becomes a child murderer. Yeah. The big baby. The big baby, yeah. That's the boss. Mario is also a baby, baby killer. 
Yes. First, first Lost Galaxy 2. A huge baby. That's true. Well, he just hatched when he made it. Yes. He made a patch. You, you slammed yeah, it and right. it so hard that his egg cracked open. Well, I mean, it's... So, not only that, it's a premature baby. Can you explain a little bit about like, how the boss damage works and how you uh, get basically, it Oh, basically... Oh, okay. Uh, Oasis, like, if you find that document, he wrote up a little bit about it. Um, he linked it in the chat. Yeah, we analyzed the source code. We played with it a lot. There's, like, different uh, moods that the, that the boss goes through, depending on what it wants to do with its attacks. And it's something like a 1,000 damage. Then after a 1,000 damage, you have to do a certain number of damage again, and then his head will open up. And then once his head opens up, then you just shoot the brain. So why does the RPG do so, like the javelin arm? Or is that just... And that's a trick right there, that the rocket goes through part of the head and gets the brain, so I don't have to launch ahead and hit it. So, oh, time. Oh, 4948. Yeah, that's half-life. Oh, yeah, I need to get the ending, sorry. That's fine, whatever, close enough. You deserve to wear this now. 4948? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not too bad. And shout outs to uh, Pink Trouser Villains and Cager IRL and Kaon. That is all. <laughs> oh, and I realize this is more than 24 hours too late, but it really should have been shown at the time. To Derek Taylor and Alan Snyder, who have been helping out, helping me out with Resident Evil 4 for such a long time. Thank you so much. I know I should have mentioned it before, but I hope this is consolatory shout out and shouting out. Yeah, that's the G-Man, if anybody wants to know. He looks amazing in this game. He's awesome. Yeah, we'll see um, what's the status of the Spider Waffles new Um, They're still working on it. Yeah. Um, they're like 24 minutes, I think. Uh, they found a couple of really, really good tricks. I still show So any of the video guy over here. I don't know where to put Okay, uh, just plug okay, just plug it into those two the front of those two splitters there as far as video so source. Just just stand there the the, okay, yeah, I'm, basically. The, yeah. The, the, one, the one closest to you. Yeah. Unplug that and plug so in the other one. Uh, yeah, the time, like, oh, the yeah, official right, time ends right when Nalan dies. Yeah, just for input-wise, for attacks. Yeah, no. Well, oh, even then, I don't, uh, I don't think any run we have stops timing, like, the end of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Whoever won the battle complete just give me their email. Yeah, we'll get you the email. Yeah, and I'll just give it to them. Can you check how much is on this computer? Actually, if yeah, if they you can give it to me right now, I'll just gift it to them right now. Because I, you know, I want to vote for it, but I also want to vote for it. Can you put that on the computer? Well, apparently I need to do the drawing here. Okay, go ahead and give it to me. Is this okay to put in the UPS or you know what it is? Uh, unplug that. There, oh, I'll plug that top plug on the right. top one. Okay. Yeah, because that was the other one before we don't. Did you actually see it? Are you behind? Yeah, I mean, I'll show it to the other one. Yes, there's another one over here. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, that's it. I didn't even know it was this. Yeah. Also, if anybody wants free games, I have Dead of Heat, Condition Zero, Team Fortress Classic, or Half Life 2, if anybody wants it, I'll give it to them. Okay, um, the Half Life Prize. You think we should mention the fact that the control of this game are really, like, laggy and ridiculous? I'll read some donations in the meantime. We have $10 from Mike Kovala. Awesome Half Life run. Had to donate after watching Droogy sprinting past G Man. The winner of the half. No, the Valve Complete Collection is Marshall Banana. I have no idea if that's a real name. It doesn't sound like a real name. <laughs> but either way, we have your email address. So. Either way, we have the email. I right. just read it down. I don't really want to know. Uh, so that's yeah. well, I can it. seven hours. So this way, we're about nine. But that's a place where you're going to do it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! Oh, OK. You wait, what's up? Uh, I need a disc for this one. Is that pretty nice? Cool. Thank you. I got it. Pretty nice. Okay. Right, cool. Thanks. Read that back. Right. It's atrocious. Uh, congratulations to Marshall Banana, whoever you are. Um, I guess I just draw the other price picture too. Uh, and the head crab, which I think well, most people are waiting for. Working on that side. This I, I kind of want to put it in for that. There's already a lot of people here. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh yeah. Okay. Hopefully the power works. Nice. It does your cost. Sarah Myers won the head crab hat, so congratulations. We'll get your uh, info from you after the marathon. Thank you very much, everyone who donated. We're going to get our uh, race set up here. I'm going to burn through a few more donations. We move the mic. Yeah.